Hey, what's up guys? I'm coming at you guys with the Space Jam 11 video. A full restoration, a full re-glue on both the uppers, midsole, and the rubber sole. Also, I'm going to be clearing the icy sole from this doki pokey to a subtle yellow mellow. You know what I'm saying? Comfort-wise, the air unit, the airbag had to go. Is my mic on? Hold on. <laughs> yeah, it is on. Okay. Oh, comfort-wise, I took out the old air unit bag and I replaced it with a zoom unit which I got from a LeBron 11 insole. A lot more comfortable, it's a lot more bouncier, a lot more bounce with that ounce, you know what I'm saying? So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, give me that like button. Hey everybody get up, it's time to slam now. We got a real jam going down. Welcome to the Space Jam. Here's your chance, do your dance at the Space Jam. All right. All right. Yo, to start off this restoration, we're gonna redo the whole reglue on the uppers and on the rubber sole just so we know that they won't separate in the future. So I wanted to take control of the video really quick to show you guys what I'm replacing these popped air units with, the full length air unit. So these are practically useless. You're not gonna feel any type of comfort with with these still in there, uh, regardless if it turned to dust or not. I could use silicone paste to to put to replace this unit in here, like in my original uh, Concord video. But I decided to put a zoom unit in here, so as you can see, I just pop it in place. I got mine from a LeBron LeBron 11 insole. So right underneath the LeBron 11 is where your zoom unit's at. So to separate the zoom unit from the insole, we're gonna run acetone down the zoom unit. Don't worry, it's not gonna damage the zoom unit. This will only eat up the adhesive. Shorty from the south side, yeah. But she don't got no love for the city though. In the club with a bunch Now we're gonna tape off the uppers so we can remove all of that factory adhesive. New year, new you, new number. Ass got a little fatter for the summer. She said all oh, niggas change like the weather You made a promise to yourself you do better Your last man was a clown Oh that nigga fucked around baby girl And I'm so sorry I'm gonna use a Dremel tool to thoroughly clean the uppers from the factory adhesive You can skip this step but it's just gonna take you a little bit longer to remove all of that factory adhesive Now that we've removed majority of that factory adhesive We're gonna finish the job by using cotton balls and acetone she just wanna smoke and drink and party on the weekend Don't believe in love, maybe that ain't for you It's very important that we remove all of that factory adhesive before we start our reglue. To check if you've removed that factory adhesive from the uppers or the midsole, you can swipe the surface with a wet cotton ball soaked in acetone. And if it's shiny, that means the factory adhesive is still there. If it's matte, that means you've removed everything. No, you don't trust nobody, but you wanna love so this is a comparison on what it should look like when you remove all that factory adhesive compared to when it still has that factory glue. Since we are replacing the air unit with a full length zoom unit, the filament will not be 100%. So we're gonna trace the zoom unit with a pen and then cut out the excess foam with a exacto knife. You never take no days off. Heard you dropped out of school and quit your day job. Plan on moving out to Cali with the base guy. Baby girl, how the fuck you gonna change up? You're gonna think I'm some crazy ass dude doing doing this, but I use WD-40 to shine my patent leather and it makes my patent leather look like glass. Check it out. After I apply the WD-40, I buff it with a microfiber cloth. Now we're gonna hit up the Icy Souls with my Michael Secret stuff. This beats every soul sauce on the market. I swear it's Michael's secret stuff. You can't make this shit up. Because Michael's secret stuff is so strong, we're gonna use 
tape to cover up the pods to uh, preserve the traction because this does take her traction away it's that strong I'm telling you it's like better than anything I've ever seen it really depends on how severe the yellowing is on your icy soles for this specific pair it took me about 30 hours of UV light exposure to get them as icy as they are now. We're gonna apply the same method on the midsole. This will lift up any stains and will make them a lot whiter. I'm gonna show you guys that cleaning them with a sneaker cleaner or with dish soap will not make them whiter than this. You do need the soul sauce to make them as white as they are now. So I will show you guys one that's whitened with the sauce and one that's just cleaned with soap. So we're ready to re-glue the midsole to the rubber sole and we're going to remove that factory adhesive that's still off on the rubber sole by using heat gun and calm balls and acetone. Our next step is to prep the midsole by placing tape onto the midsole. So I'm gonna apply my first layer of adhesive on the midsole and on the rubber sole. We're gonna do this step twice to ensure that our adhesion is 100% and it won't separate in the future. So we're gonna do the step again by applying adhesive on both the rubber sole and on the midsole. Except after we apply the adhesive, we're gonna bond them together right away, wait five minutes, and then after the five minutes, we're gonna clamp them down together. Now that the rubber sole is fully glued onto the midsole, we're going to lock down the zoom units with adhesive. After that, we're going to place our uppers on top of the midsole, use tape as our guide, apply adhesive between the tapes, take them out, and then wait 5 minutes to clamp. And we're going to do this section by section on the whole uppers until it's fully glued. To have a stronger bond, I'm going to apply a thin layer of adhesive on the midsole first and then when we do our technique, it's going to have a stronger adhesion. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
gon' have to find a different way to face me now Be in the back rows with the waves on my dash Like imagine if she had a pretty face with that ass I'm telling y'all I'm rare like a wide drama I meet the pretty hoes, don't get attached at all I keep to myself, these niggas play too much Your phone bill must be how you talking way too much Your record doesn't go, why you hyping it? Big homie love my shit, I'm about to skype for me The city learning quick, they starting to love the kid Mix light and dark, like really, what's the fucking death? Just for my boys, you still be on the avenue Can't bring you to my city, they would laugh at you You ask me what I'm doing, I'm gonna tell you I've been dishing But that's a stupid question, you know money been the mission to remove the fraying on the Condora mesh, we're gonna use fire, but safety first, we're gonna have a fire extinguisher at hand ready for, for this. Yo, what's up guys? Hope you guys enjoyed my video. If you guys did enjoy and want to support me and my work, there's a link down in the description below with my PayPal link. You can donate however much you want. You feel of value this video is to you. Whether you're starting to support my work or if you did learn something from this video. And if you are going to implement my techniques, be sure to shout me out. I would love to see what you're doing for your for your videos or for your restorations as well. Alright man, like, peace.